So here are two extra circle theorems you've got to learn for your IGCSEs. These are a little bit different to the other ones you've been learning in that they uh, you have to work out the lengths of stuff here. Okay, the other circle theorems you learned were all about working at angles. So that's actually good news because they're really these two rules are therefore really hard to mix up with the other circle theorem rules because these ones are about lengths, the other ones are about angles. So basically these questions turn out to be pretty easy in the exams. Okay, let's quickly go through the rules really easy. This length times this length equals that length times that length. Do you see what I did? Very easy. I could get a bit complicated. I could say, oh, okay, these things are called chords, these straight lines, I really know that. Okay, and the bits of the chords called segments, okay, if you multiply them together, so this segment times that segment is equal to that segment times that segment. I could get really fancy and talk, uh, use the description, which you should really memorize, yeah. Memorize, but understand first, because it makes it very easy to memorize, right? The products, we talked about that, the products, when you multiply stuff, yeah, of segments, the bits of the chords, of intersecting chords, by the way, so they intersect, they meet a B in this case, are equal. Very easy rule. Yeah, the products are either bits of the the products of the bits of the chords, the segments, uh, are equal. And this rule is pretty much the same rule. This time, your two straight lines meet outside the circle rather than inside the circle. We can't call them chords this time because they go outside the circle, right? We call them secant lines or secant lines, or whatever you want to call them. Doesn't really matter how you say it. Just spell it the same way, like this. It's just one word to memorize. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same as the other rule. Slightly different. It's this bit, this short bit, times the whole thing together. So CB times CA equals CE times CD. Yeah. So this length times that length is equal to this short length times the whole big length from C to D. And that's the end of the rule. Let me quickly talk you through this. The products of the segments. Have you heard all this before? Yeah, the products when you multiply the segments, the pieces of what? Pieces of the secant lines, the bits of, you know, these weird lines go from inside to outside there. Uh, that intersect, of course, they intersect, yeah? Uh, outside the circle are equal. So that's it, really.